Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, as I promised, I'm going to do a profile of someone who's a lawyer or a judge or a politician every day and point out facts about how corrupt they are. Now, the pictured woman here is former Ohio Chief Justice. She's been gone for two years now. Former Ohio Chief Justice Maureen O'Connor. This woman is as corrupt as a judge you could ever find. Let's talk about her background a little bit. She went to some low-level law school. She kept running for office, kept losing, kept losing. She finally gets elected to a judge office. Then she becomes Taft's lieutenant governor. And therefore, she gets statewide recognition, and she becomes the chief justice of the Ohio Supreme Court. Great responsibility. It's like being the king of law in Ohio due to their administrative work. Okay. Who backed this woman? Who were the people that put her in that office? The people were healthcare industry money, hospital money, insurance money, and the big law firms that represent them. And she publicly even thanked them for their efforts and said she would never forget all the support that they gave her. This woman also, as Chief Justice, wrote an article for the Albany Law Review where she quoted Gladstone's justice delayed is justice denied. And as always, was always talking about the system and blah, 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 blah. Well, here's what she did to the Durrani victims. Ohio has a rule that says when a case is filed, it has to be closed out in three years. It used to be two years. They changed it to three. And guess what? This woman ignored, I mean, ignored that rule for the Durrani victims. So rather than their cases getting over in three years, they have been going on 13 years and counting. I mean, the first cases were filed a couple years. The massive number has been 11 years. And the way we're going, it'll be another 10 years, at least five. And this woman did nothing. And in fact, this is what she did. All the cases were in front of Judge Robert Ruhlman. They would have all been resolved by the end of 2017. The morning of a mediation, she removed him from the cases, claiming they weren't consolidated properly. Even though uh, months before, same issue, they said it was okay. Wonder what the hell happened. It's insane, folks. It's awful what this woman has done to these Durrani victims. She didn't give a damn. Meanwhile, she acts like she's for reform, for black injustice, and this and that, everything else. See, trying to create a legacy of care and everything else. It's all bullshit. This woman was owned, is probably still owned, by the healthcare industry. And she cared more about them And then the votes on cases that came before her involving Durrani, her votes were unbelievable. It didn't matter what Durrani did. She preferred to vote for Durrani and the hospitals over the victims. I mean, it's on. And by the way, if you think that that was the right vote, no, no. Republicans, 4-3, the three Democrats. And the Democrats were right. Statutory interpretation. They would say this, they would say this. She took all these cases away from 14 common pleas judges to give them one. Who'd she pick? Mark Schweikert. Mark Schweikert was as corrupt as hell. I'm going to do him next. Mark Schweikert, who she appointed, they worked together for malpractice reform when he was the head of the judicial committee for all that stuff, working with the legislature. It's so wrong, so evil what this woman did. And she doesn't give a damn. She doesn't care. She couldn't be, she couldn't be shamed into changing her ways. Would never, ever, ever, ever happen. But I can tell you this, Maureen, I'm going to make sure the world and the country knows what you did. Netflix coming, baby. It's coming, Maureen. You are, you're, 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 you're so worried about your legacy. I'm going to define your legacy. Shakespeare insult of the day, Maureen, I think it applies. Ruddy, hell-hated hag. This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. This woman right here. Oh, one final thing. Affidavits of disqualification, we found about four against her, 40 against Schweikert. 
She would rule for Schweikert no matter what the facts were, saying, well, Schweikert says he can be fair. Well, Schweikert says he can be fair. And rather than allow another justice to rule on hers, she ruled on her own disqualification. I, I hate you. I hate you. I loathe you. You deserve hell. You deserve cancer of the spine. You deserve a hideous death. And those of you who think I'm being too harsh, what these Durrani victims have gone through because of her, give me a break. She deserves all I wish upon her. May it happen. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.